Guys, that's just one more core they plan on trying. This is a microwave transformer with the center uh, part of the core removed for the bandsaw. Um, that's what we got here. And uh, turn it on real quick. 15 hertz. Okay. What we got in here? Flux moves through it fine. That's another possibility if you want to get involved doing this and we have uh, trouble trying to find transformers. A uh, microwave transformer, i.e., and you know, they come pretty thick. So you put a grind spot where you want to separate them and just get a thin chisel in between them and split them. Try not to uh, bang them around too much, and all these will stay together. You can do what you want with them. Um, it don't take long with a hacksaw if that's all you got. Probably come out straighter than that. I just ran the bandsaw down it real quick. Um, drive coils, nothing fancy. Uh, this coil here on this particular core is around 2.21 amps well 21 watts that's another indication of uh, saturation and uh, gives you an idea what's being absorbed and the flux is going in and around back and forth back and forth so we got this uh, This slope right here, it normally would be a square wave. But this slope right here pretty much is telling you what's being absorbed and switched with the flux. And this circuit right here, um, because if we just take this off, watch the scope. That's what's coming out of the signal generator. And that's what's going on the drive core. So, alright. Just wanted to throw a few more ideas out there with you guys. For whatever you had for materials that were available. Definitely an option. This, this here was a uh, extremely rare core that I had found, ballast transformer. It was a lot thicker than that, I actually have more of that. I think it was like, uh, I don't know, probably about almost two inches or maybe a little over two inches thick. There was 90 pieces on the end here. Um, so I don't know why they did it, but transformer works out that you got two L's and two 90's that put the end together. Probably for production reasons. Okay. That's what we got for now, and uh, see you guys in the next one.